hello you guys welcome back to another vlog i am on my way out right now to go get my hair done which i'm very excited about also what's the date today thursday november 17th and um it was snowing today. It stopped snowing right now, but it was like flurrying earlier and it made me so happy and just so excited for winter. And yeah, I put on a little bit of makeup, which I was like, I need to do my makeup and get ready when I go get my hair done. Cause you know, when you like get new hair and you just want to, I feel like it hits different when you have makeup on and stuff. So I was like, I need to get all ready and do that. And it made me like honestly feel really good and I didn't think that my makeup looked good in the house but it looks good right now honestly and I tried out a new lip which is like very creamy and I like it <laughs> so yeah I need to start doing my makeup more like even if it's just a little bit of like light makeup during the day I feel like it really boosts my mood and makes me feel good and I used to like hate wearing makeup during the day but honestly, I did when I was in Nashville too because Jess and I went out to lunch and it just like makes you feel so good. So anyway, gotta go get my hair done, head to Newberry Street. I'll just talk to you guys when I get there. I'm gonna go into anthropology really quick. I'm literally walking in right now because I want to see I just want to look around at their candles and stuff But this is the hair I'm excited. I love it. I got absolutely nothing at Anthropology because I was like wait I literally went last week and I forgot that I even went and I already got a Christmas candle. So Yeah, but I just got to Whole Foods. I'm walking in I'm gonna go get stuff for dinner just picked up a ton of stuff for dinner and I, I also got stuff to make hot chocolate and I'm so so excited also you guys when I was in the checkout line my hair like I was unloading all the groceries onto the little thing the conveyor belt like whatever you want to call that thing and my hair was obviously like in my face like this because I just got like little wispy bangs and I was like putting them behind my ear and then I was like wait why am I doing that because like they look so cute it's like I almost like forgot that I got them and I like forgot my hair looked like this but I love it anyway I got stuff to make chicken broccoli alfredo for dinner because I for some reason have been craving it and what the fuck? And I'm really excited to get it. I mean, to make it. And I, like I said, got stuff for hot chocolate, and I got cookies. But I probably won't do the cookies tonight, just because of the hot chocolate. I feel like that's like pick one or the other. But yeah. Also, the fact that it's 5:22 and it's pitch black out. It's crazy to me. I actually low-key really like this time of year. There's just something about like the crispness and just how it's like almost Thanksgiving and my birthday and then it's Christmas and I just like love this time of year. There's just something about it that I really don't mind when it's like this. I think my least favorite month is probably like March, I would have to say. I'm not really a big fan of March. In April because the weather's just like so iffy but I really don't mind it right now and I don't know I just am in a really good mood also I'm like obviously vlogging right now <laughs> this kid that I saw at Woods is staring at me like I saw him at the checkout line and he was at the line next to me and I turned around and he was looking and now as I'm obviously driving away I'm trying not to like make my camera fly as I'm driving away he was just standing on the corner probably waiting for an uber staring at me vlogging in my car with my camera on my dashboard and he's probably like what is this girl doing Brayden's going out tonight with his cousin I guess they're gonna go to dinner at Lola tonight at 9 and I'm like really really jealous 
I'm like jealous that he's going with someone else, not me, because I feel like that's great in a nice spot and we have been going together like a ton recently. So I'm just like excited for him to go and I hope that he gets the pretzel parfait and a really yummy drink because they have like these new fall, more like fall drinks. They changed their menu last time we went. I was like expecting to get one of the drinks that I have been getting like every time I go and they didn't even have it. So yeah, they have new drinks at Lola. If you live in Boston and you go there, you gotta go check out the new menu. I just got done cooking. This is what it looks like. I will leave the recipe down below because it was very simple and easy. And yeah, it looks so good. camera's been like zooming in <laughs> for some reason i don't know why like when i start off a new clip but anyway good morning i didn't vlog yesterday because i was like working literally all day i edited a ton of videos and um, i'm really excited because i got them up and i got them on youtube and i just like really caught up i think i edited three videos uploaded them and then this morning I worked on like links and all of that, which it was felt really nice to just like get all caught up. So I'm really happy about that because it's Saturday today and it's the weekend and I have plans. So I don't want to feel like stressed out about not doing my videos when I like not uploading my videos and like finishing my links and stuff like that because I've been like very consistent lately and I'm like really proud about it <laughs> but yeah anyway it's saturday like i said i just brought up this huge bag from the kitchen which has like a ton of makeup that i just got in the mail from pr boxes i got a box from nars i'm gonna go through the products and see like what i want to keep and what i want to donate because i have like a huge ongoing pile of like not even pile like a huge bag of makeup skincare just like stuff i'm have never used and i'm thinking of doing because i usually donate it to like a local shelter or like place in boston but i'm thinking also of doing like a giveaway because it's the holiday season so yeah i have never done a giveaway before i don't know why but my old management company like a few years ago my old manager told me that like there was just all this legal stuff that has to do with like doing a giveaway and i just like have never done one in the past and honestly like i used i used to never really get that much pr but now i've been getting so much more and while yes it's like really cool and it's great i don't need all this stuff and it's just like i want to be able to obviously share it with you guys I just got these, which I actually bought these. <laughs> this wasn't PR, but they came in the mail so fast. They came overnight and I used them last night and they actually helped my acne so much. It's the Peace Out Acne Day Dots. I wanted to try out a new brand and I've never had those before, so I'm excited. But yeah, I'm just like emptying out this whole bag of stuff and um, we're gonna do makeup and get ready. But I did want to talk about something because I did get a comment on one of my videos last week talking about how my YouTube channel has just been very like product based and I want to talk about it because I feel like in the past I would have definitely got like really defensive and been like, I don't know, upset that somebody was like calling me out. <laughs> but I like honestly agree and I feel like I just have dealt with a lot being on youtube for five years and going through such like big life changes like i was 21 when i started and now well yeah 21 and now i'm going to be 26 in a couple of days so i feel like from the time that you're that age to the age that i'm at now like you really change so much as a person and 
go through a lot and plus also I just went through like a lot of personal things and stuff like that and I feel like I used to be so much more open on YouTube and vulnerable like when I first started like 2018 2019 and then I swear like when the pandemic happened I started to get like really closed off and I don't know what it was but I think that it's just like as my channel grew I started to get picked apart for like every little thing that I was doing so I honestly just started to just like show products instead because honestly I thought that it was just the easy way out if I didn't show my personal life if I didn't talk about my personal life nobody would have anything to say type thing and it made me like scared because people would judge me whether it's like I was talking about something that happened that bothered me people would be like you have it so well you have a great job and make a living from doing YouTube and you support yourself and like why are you complaining like that type of thing which then I would feel like bad for even complaining because I'm like wait I have to take a step back and like realize like I'm very privileged to be able to do what I do and it's just like then I stopped like talking about things that would happen in my life because I felt like I couldn't be complaining because there are people out there that have it far worse than I do but at the same time like no matter what your situation is your feelings are valid and if you feel a certain way and have certain emotions like that's okay and everybody has a right to feel the way that they feel so I don't know I just like read that comment and I was like I need to talk about this because I've never actually sat down on YouTube and talked about it or even acknowledged that I like realize that I do show a lot of products half of it is that I just like like showing you guys what I'm really into and I feel like I'm super into seeing like what other people use so yeah I don't know I just definitely know that I can like get carried away with it sometimes so that's something that I'm like aware of and working on but that's that I kind of just want to talk about that because it does make me really sad because I watch my old videos sometimes and I'm like oh my god my mind I was so pure and I just would like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and like I would set up the camera and literally just like rant on about my life and I don't think I realized like how many people were actually watching my videos and I would just like overshare so much which obviously made me feel more relatable because I was like sharing stuff that went on in my life but at the same time that like opened up so much like space for people to like pick apart my life and then I started to get hate and then I honestly got like scared to like share my life and I don't know <laughs> I just like I don't know how it even happened it just like happened over the years where I got like really closed off and I would just like show products because I was like this is so easy if I just talk about products then everything is fine like nobody will have anything to say but I've realized that I just can't keep doing that and also like I don't even like the feeling of doing it and I don't even actually like the way yeah that it like makes me feel so it's something that I'm working on being more open and being more vulnerable and um, that's it so anyway I'm gonna go through this makeup Fenty Beauty, the lip product that I've been talking about for a really long time, they sent it to me and I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm going to try it today just because it's, I feel like I need to use it like more during the nighttime because during the day I like to keep it light and just do like a lip liner with a little gloss, but I'm going to go through and see like who sent me what and see like what I want to keep and stuff and then start doing my makeup.
I'm with Graydon. I got ready and I didn't, I didn't vlog before we left the house, but I'll show you guys my outfit later. But anyway, we just went to two different places in the South End. We went to Barcelona. Barcelona. And then we went to Metro Polis. Metropolis and Barcelona is like good, you know, the drinks are really small. Yeah. Like really, really small. Really small. But Metropolis was, we didn't really love it. No, we left. We left. We just got a drink at the bar and then we left. But we were gonna like get dinner and stuff. Now we're kind of just like trying to think like where should we get dinner and we're just sitting in the car. And it's only 5.47, like it's so early. We have so much of the night left, but we just don't know where to go. So we're probably gonna go to the seaport. Also, does anybody else Northwest. think that that looked like Northwest? Like the first time I ever listened to this album and I saw the cover like really quickly, I was like, thought that it was North. Like Smart quickly. It, she, the girl on the cover looks like Northy a little bit. Northy baby. But that's what's up. We're gonna, oh that lighting's better. We're gonna just go bop around and it's really, really cold out like winter winter <sighs> so we're just like heating up in the car before we figure out like where we want to go you know yeah. I have to redo my lip oh my god I just tried to blow out my bangs because we got home and I like took out my bun and I see my hair is like all curly from my bun but I like took my bangs out and I was trying to blow dry them with the Dyson like um what is that called like the brush attachment and it was so funny it was getting like all messed up so you have to instead of instead of twisting you have to just pull it up yeah I just have to pull it up instead of twisting it I just have to be like Shh, sh, sh. but it was really really funny also <laughs> Lighting it's so bright. Yeah, I have hairspray underneath my sink. It's like a Moroccan oil hairspray. Moroccan. But it's like a. What time is it? Like eight forty-five. Um. And we just got back from Nautilus. Honestly, I'm doing my lip liner, and I'm literally going to pick up pizza. Cause we only got a few drinks and then we got an appetizer. We got the bao buns and then we got the, what else did we get? Shishito. Oh, the shishito peppers. And yeah, we didn't like get dinner cause we were just sitting at the bar. And then we got home and I was like, wait, I'm actually kind of hungry. So we ordered a pizza, buffalo chicken calzone, Greek salad. I'm excited because I'm actually like that's like what I'm in the mood for. I'm kind of hungry, so yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go pick that up. Hi, you guys, it's Sunday. I vlogged a little bit on my way to the nail salon this morning but I didn't vlog when I got home because I was so tired and I just wanted to like relax and clean. And it's now, I think it's after five o'clock because it just got dark out. Yeah, I've just done like a ton of laundry today. Like I said, I got my nails done. I got like a gray color and then I got my toes done as well. And now I'm just gonna open up this big box, which is over here because I got a table for my office and things are really coming together and the house I want to show you guys hey the dogs need to eat so bad but their food I give them the farmer's dog and the food was like still a little bit frozen in the fridge so I just put the food in a little bowl in the sink with hot water because it was still frozen and I'm I obviously like I'm not gonna give it to them when it's frozen but Anyway, I want to show you guys the dining room table because it finally just came in and I ordered it from Burke Decor. It's like this natural 
wood table. I still need to figure out what to do with the bar cart. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. But this light right here came with the house that I moved in, so I obviously put the table right underneath and I really like the way that it looks. I like the two-tone of the wood and also I'm gonna obviously put something here on the wall and I need to like clean off everything that is over here on the table. These are just a bunch of things for my birthday, which is actually tomorrow, so yeah. Anyway, that is my update right now. I'm also gonna buy new lights to get installed above the island and I really wanna get a rug for this area over here, but in the meantime, I am going to put together my table for my office so I can get my office all set up next week. I really just wanna make the office like an area where I can have like a clothing rack with clothes that I need to shoot for Milo, stop it. For brand deals, like get everything just like situated. I do have my desktop up at the top of the stairs, like on the desk that's like the built-in desk that's there right now where I get ready but I want to have like a full office space so I can just like keep all my computer stuff in there have a clothing rack open up all my packages like keep all my PR organized because I feel like my stuff is literally everywhere and I want to be able to have it in the office so I can literally just shut the door and like not work when it's not time to work type of thing like I can kind of just like forget about it when <laughs> the day is done and just be more organized but I feel like everything's I don't know like really coming together I've only been living here for two months so yeah I don't know I feel like it's like finally starting to come together but anyway I'm gonna put together my table and that's about it. I'm just having a really chill day. I didn't go to the grocery store today or anything because it's Sunday and Whole Foods is usually a zoo on Sundays and I just like probably end up ordering food tonight or something. So I didn't even order. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even go grocery shopping. Yeah, I'm gonna put the table together. Wish me luck. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. The table was so easy to put together and I just ordered Thai food and I'm gonna make cookies. I've been getting these cookies from Whole Foods and they're so good. They're non-dairy, no bleach flour, no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives. They're gluten-free and I don't know, they're just so yummy. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to, it says 350. And I'm actually really excited because I haven't had Thai food in the longest time. Like I don't know why, I just like haven't been able to find a place in Boston that I really like so I feel like I used to eat it all the time and then I just kept like getting so sick of getting Thai food and having it like not be good so I ordered from like a new place that I've never ordered from and I'm really excited because I love Thai food and we have this really really good place on the Cape that I grew up going to and I've just like never been able to have anything like it and also I've been to like good places where I went to college and um, I went to a really good place. There's a really, another really good place, um, like a Thai food place on the North Shore, but I'm excited to try. And in the meantime, I'm like, I just need to like do something to keep myself occupied because I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm going to make cookies. I've had like the best day. I also just cleaned up a ton in the office and it still needs like a lot more work but at least the table is put together and it's up there. And I started to like clean out some of the bags and stuff that were in there because I kind of just, like when we moved, I just put all these like bags and boxes in there and I never really did anything with them because I wanted to wait until, like I kind of was working on each room one by one and the office is like one of the last things to get done. And it was so crazy because I have like these two big bags of all of these like papers and stuff just from like previous apartments. Like literally this was going back to like 2018. And I opened it up and I found like so much old stuff like pictures from disposable cameras from like trips that I've been on, cards from birthdays from people. It was just like, I don't know, it was crazy. It was just finding so much stuff and it was like making me like reflect 
and like get emotional and uh, yeah i need to wash my hands also before i start touching these cookies are smelling so good <laughs> i hope that that <gasps> okay they literally look perfect i need to take these out <laughs> right now before they burn because i did actually keep them in there for an extra minute <gasps> oh my god they look perfect yummy <laughs> i'm literally so excited okay the table is all built i wanted to show you guys this because um yeah, just to like give you guys a little office update. This is the table, I got it from Wayfair and I needed like a big space to put everything. So technically I think that this might be like a dining table, like a small dining table and my chair hasn't come yet, but I wanted to be able to have space to put like my laptop, my desktop, like have everything on the table while I'm working. And it's like the perfect size, I love it. I also always get so many questions about where this bag is from. I got it from With Jean a few years ago. I don't think that they have it still, but I just keep all of my stuff in it for editing, like my external hard drive, my charger, stuff like that. And then I just obviously have a few candles. And then this is a cuticle oil, which keeps your nails like so moisturized. And I put it on my desk to remind me to do it every single day. And then, obviously, I have my computer, headphones, camera, stuff like that. And I'm really, really excited. I have to still clean out, like, these bins. And then I put the old rug that was downstairs up here in the office. And I just have a mirror right here, which I'm probably going to move. But I don't even know. I think one of these mirrors is literally Emma's. Because I have two of these Crate and Barrel, no, CBG mirrors. And this one's not mine because mine's upstairs. So this one's definitely Emma's, but I might honestly move it to a different wall or keep it right here. So I can do like pictures and stuff like that and it'll help with like, I guess, filming. It'll be nice to have like a mirror. And then I have my YouTube plaque, a bunch of like podcasting equipment. And that's pretty much it. This room also has like a chalkboard as part of the wall and I can't tell if I love it or if I hate it <laughs> right now, but it's staying there for the time being. So maybe I can like start writing out, like planning stuff and have it on the wall. I really don't know, but it's pretty plain right now. Just still obviously work in progress, but it's at least nice to have like a little space to come and work and yeah. Just finishing up the laundry right now, but it's also clean sheet night and I'm so excited to get in bed and just like relax, edit a video. So on that note, I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I'm literally about to take a bath and just probably do skincare, wind down, get ready for bed. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that it wasn't as like eventful as I would have liked but I know that Vlogmas is gonna definitely make up for that because I'm doing a vlog every single day and bringing you guys along with me throughout like what I do for 25 days of December. So Vlogmas is just gonna be packed with so much fun stuff and I'm very excited. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out and thank you guys so much for watching this video, I love you and I will see you in my next one, bye.